What interests slash hobbies should a person have if they're wanting to pursue a career? This career. So I'm an OB nurse and the biggest interest I think somebody needs to have is they need to be interested in people. They need to want to genuinely take care of people and want to do what's best for them. So you have to have a big interest in people, uh, I guess is one of the biggest things I would say. And as far as a hobby for this nursing, honestly, I don't necessarily think of it as a hobby, but you need to be interested in people. What is the most challenging part of your career? I find the most challenging part of my career is being able to do um, do everything that I want to be able to do patient, with patients. Sometimes you feel like you're a little, um, maybe you don't have all the resources that you necessarily need, and resources meaning the knowledge that maybe you need to have for everything. Um, you know, you sometimes I think I could do more for them if I knew something else. So I do the best I can, but I always feel like maybe I could do a little bit more and just that's like, that can be a challenge sometimes to me. What is the most rewarding part of your career? I just love taking care of people. I, I love when I, when I help them out. Um, especially with moms and babies, um, that whatever they're wanting to do and, and have the experience that they want to experience, if I can be a, even a little part of making that happen, incredibly rewarding. What happens in a typical day in your position? So basically we come in, there's always nurses here 24 seven. Um, we have three different shifts. So the first thing we do, we come in and we get report from the girls who have already been here and they tell us everything that's going on with the moms and the babies. And then we pick up from where they left off. So we will do, um, well, I'll do an assessment on a mom to make sure if I'm taking care of the moms, do a complete assessment on her, make sure she's doing okay. Help her to the bathroom if she needs to go to the bathroom, get her medications if she needs medications. And here in this department here at Mercer Health, we do an incredible amount of education. So educating them about what to expect with themselves, not that they've had their baby, and um, with the baby, what to expect with the baby. We teach them how to give baths to their babies, um, how to feed their babies, how much to feed their babies, and just general things to kind of look for, for when, when they are having, um, when they go home with their babies. So. Um, so we do that um, as our day goes on, and of course, um, if they're not delivered, if somebody comes in in labor, then of course we're going to spend our time with them and helping them get through the labor process to safely deliver their baby. Are you happy with your career choice and why? I love it. <laughs> I love my job, best job I've ever had. Um, I've been doing this for 18 years now and I would never want to do anything else. Um, this is my passion is to be here with moms and babies and being a part of this amazing place and, and their lives and being able to make a difference and make a difference for them. What skills are required to do your job? So first of all, you have to be a registered nurse to do do our job here. So of course, you got to go to college, and you can have an associate degree um, as the basic degree. You have to have a become a registered nurse. So you get your associate degree, and then you have to take a um, a board a, your your state boards um, to pass that test, and then you're officially a registered nurse. But um, beyond that, then you apply for the job, and if you get hired into the OB department, then from there we do orientation to get you oriented into the job. We um, are fortunate in this area to have um, lots of opportunities for education specific to OB as far as um, when they're in the hospital, baby care, um, monitoring them when they're in labor. So we'll go and get extra education and come back here for um, we'll come back here for that, uh, with that, with that education. So pretty much you need, um, it's all on job training. So nursing school, um, nursing school prepares you to become a nurse, but then when you become a nurse, you really specialize in the area that you're going to work at.
what preparation or education was required for your position? So, like I said, um, associate degree is the minimum level that you can you can do. Um, I have my bachelor's degree, and a lot of people are working for their bachelor's degree. Um, if they haven't already gotten it, it's something that may be in their future because as nursing continues to um, evolve and, and education is really important, you know, that is one of the things that they're looking at is a bachelor's degrees um, are almost going to be required. So, um, so, like I said, nursing school, associate degree, and pass the test. Where did you receive your schooling or training? Um, I went to school in Fort Wayne at University of St. Francis. Is there and was there an opportunity for promotions in your field? Um, there, there is. There was the opportunity um, to become um, to become a lactation consultant, which helps moms help them to feed their babies. Um, so that was um, an opportunity um, for me personally to have. Um, there's always opportunities for um, uh, being more of an educator within the department for other staff. Um, there was opportunity, um, I also teach childbirth classes. Um, so that was an opportunity to kind of expand within the area that, that I am in currently. So there's a lot of um, opportunities within the department. Locally, what is the opportunity for employment for this career? Um, you know, those are one of those things that depends on the time of the year, or I shouldn't say the time of the year, um, it kind of cycles when you have um, when you have a lot of people retiring, your opportunity to jump in and get a job in the OB department can be really high, but once you get everybody in the department, most of the time they just kind of stick and they stay. So um, it kind of kind of flows where you have people coming and going. Um, so eventually if you want to work in OB, you're going to be able to work in OB. Um, there's, there's lots of opportunities. I went directly from nursing school into OB and I haven't regretted that since. So. If you can go back and redo something as it pertains to your career, what would that be and why? Um, nothing. I wouldn't do anything differently than what I have done. Um, everything has been great. I've gotten the education I've needed. Um, I wouldn't do I wouldn't do anything differently. Everything has happened how it's supposed to. What is the range of pay from starting out to nearing retirement for someone in your position? So it kind of depends how long you have been a nurse or how long you've been here. So I am not 100% sure on the starting pay. I don't know if it's, I think it's anywhere from $22 an hour, and then you can go max out to anywhere up to like $32, $33 an hour. So there's a huge range depending on when you started and how long you've been working. Now, one of the things that happens is um, you, um, when you work an off shift, which is like um, the evening shift from four to 12 or from 12 o'clock to eight o'clock, you get what's called shift differential and they pay you an extra anywhere from two to $3 extra an hour. If you work weekends, you get paid a little bit extra an hour to work for that. Um, if you work more than your eight hours, you get time and a half. So um, there's, um, you get paid really good money to do a really cool thing, so. What benefits like insurance or vacations are offered to someone in your position? Great benefits and insurance. Um, it's fantastic what we get. We get sick time, um, we accumulate sick time, we get personal days that we're able to use, and then we accumulate vacation days as well. Um, and then here at our hospital, we have a really great retirement program. So after you've been at the hospital anywhere from like 30 to 35 years, um, the best of your last year, your top three years, they actually, um, you get a percentage of that for the rest of your life. So it's, it's fantastic what the benefits that we get to work here and do an amazing thing.
What kind of impact does your career have on your personal and social life? So um, in my personal life, I feel what I do is is my calling, my passion, what I love to do. My whole family gets to hear everything I do at work because it's it's such a huge part of what I do and who I am. So it affects my personal life because I, I bring it home with me and share exciting things that have happened. Um, socially, you know, um, I used to work evening shifts. So I'd work four o'clock, 4 p.m. to 12 a.m. So there was a lot of sacrifices in the evenings, you know, things that I wouldn't be able to do with people because I needed to be at work. Um, also, we're required to work um, holidays too, every other holiday. So, you know, you have to leave your family your family to come to work um, because there's always people coming to the hospital and they need somebody here for you. So, you know, some of those, those are some different sacrifices, but you know, I chose to be a nurse knowing that's how it is going to be. And, you know, people need you in all different places and, you know, you, you do what you got to do. So um, you can either make the most of it and uh, it's fine, it's what you do, or you can complain about it. Um, but there's no reason to because it is what it is. And you honestly, when you're, when you're working here, you're working with your family. It's a second family here. So it's, it's really not that bad. What advice would you give to someone looking to pursue your career? Um, I would tell them to go for it. I would tell them to go for it. Work hard. Um, give everything that you can give. Learn everything that you can learn about it. And give do everything you possibly can to be the best you can. And your patients will love you for that. And it's, it's, it's extremely rewarding with what you do.